Hey y'all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you, well not showing you guys, but I'm going to be just going over some um, common sewing terms and abbreviations. These abbreviations and terms, the understanding of these abbreviations and terms really helped, um, really helped me become a better seamstress. And if you can hear a little baby, that's my baby in my lap. Um, she's only two years old, so yes. So like I said, common sewing terms and abbreviations. I hope this video helps you all. Um, if, it, if you like this type of content, then please go ahead on and make sure that you like this video, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Subscriptions are free, and it helps me stay encouraged to continue to put out good content and a lot of sewing knowledge that I have learned myself. These are things that I have taught myself and that have been really useful in my sewing journey, so I hope they help. So let's see here. So the very first sewing term that we're going to go over is going to be the side seam. So I have like a figure here and the side seam is literally on the found on the side of the body. So if you have a shirt on or some pants, if you look down, you will probably see a side seam to your pants or a side seam on your shirt. Um, it's normally abbreviated like this, SS. And when you see this on a pattern, it's referring to when relations to seams and construction of garments, it is referring to the side seam. So if it says match up side seams, you're matching up seams that will be found on the side of the body. And it would look like this in an abbreviation. Next one will be the front seam. So the front seam will be found going straight down. A lot of jumpsuits have uh, front seams. A lot of dress, some body con dresses have front seams, but mainly you'll find from what I've learned so far and seen, um, I mainly see a lot of front seams in jumpsuits. So in pants, um, cause of the crotch seam. Um, and so the front seam is also called, it's called the center front and center front is abbreviated with a C and an F and you would call it a center front seam. So instead of just a front seam, it's actually called a center front seam that's found in the front. It's a seam found in the front, but fashion terminology is called a center front seam. So you also have one that you will find in the back, which is called a center back seam. So the center back seam is found in the back, obviously, and is abbreviated with a C and a B. So if you see anything um, on your patterns relating to a back seam or putting two pieces together in the back to create a center back seam. And I'm telling you, once you guys start to learn these abbreviations and these some of these terms, it's much easier. Like, it's not hard. It just takes studying. You have to study. Patterns make sewing easier, not harder. So don't be scared to learn to read and understand patterns. You're only holding yourself back by not learning, and you're definitely holding yourself back when you buy unprofessional patterns. Because remember, this is your business name that you're putting on the line. And if you're sewing with patterns that don't have any instructions, it doesn't have front seam, it doesn't have side seam marked, it doesn't have center front, center back seam, it doesn't have any of these markings on it, that's not a professional pattern. And it's going to be very hard for you to sew it because you're not going to know unless you have a bunch of like sewing on it, then it's going to be very difficult. So the next ah! one. Oh, sorry, y'all. One second. There you go. So, ah! it's okay. Ah! What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, no. Okay, so the next one that we're going to cover, the next term that we're going to cover and symbol that you might see or that you will see um, normally on patterns is this one. Now, this is what you call a place on fold seam. 
not seen, but a place on fold symbol. So when you see this symbol, it means that once you fold your fabric and you place it on the edge of the fabric, the part of your pattern that has this symbol should be placed on the edge of that fold. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut around it. You're not going to cut that edge that has placed on fold. You're going to cut out every other part except the side that is placed on fold. And yeah, you see a lot of this in sewing. I see a lot of this in sewing. Um, and I know for a long time I used to buy patterns from someone that didn't mark any of this. And I used to be so confused and so frustrated. Y'all, I'm telling you, these few key terms will really help you. There's going to be more that I go over um, and add to this list. But these short few will get you guys started. So, like I said, place it on fold. This symbol means to place on fold. And again, you guys can go back and read this part. Uh, like I said, you're going to place the edge of the pattern on the fold, edge of the fold, and you're not going to cut that part. So the next one is the grain line. So this mark um, is a horizontal line, and um, it's going to show you how to position the pattern parallel with the salvage edge of your fabric. So I know when I was learning to sew, I was always told that you cut off that edge. Well, actually you should leave it on because it's important because it actually helps you to lay your patterns out correctly and lay your patterns out with the stretch of the fabric. Um, and I'm telling you, you want to learn this because Knowing this will actually help you um, create gar more garments, meaning you can then start to do things that don't have stretch. You'll be able to, you know, venture out into other fabrics and things like that because you'll know how to place your fabric on the grain line. So that way you can get the most stretch, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, once, when you see this symbol, remember that this is the main key point though for this is to make sure that you line up this symbol, which is the grain line parallel. Okay. To your salvage edge. So make sure that you line it up parallel to your salvage edge and you should be good. But yes, grain lines really, really help. And they are found on all professionally made patterns notches now let me tell you i have a love for notches i made a red dress um my very first formal dress and that pattern consisted of a lot of notches notches really help you when you're placing your pattern together so what notches do is um What's wrong, baby? You don't want to watch this? So what notches do? Notches help you um, make sure that, for one, that you're putting the correct patterns together. And they help you make sure that you are um, lining up all of your pattern pieces correctly. So the main places I see notches are... Um, arms and armholes have notches to help you make sure that you're lining up the arm and the sleeve correctly as well as I noticed that double notches seem to be found like on like side seams to make sure that you're like lining up side seams correctly um, but either way it goes it either means make sure that you're lining up pieces correctly or it could be a symbol of where you're to place straps and things like that. But but not just very important. And the way you want it, the way you um, transfer your notch is I use either Taylor's chalk or I use a small pair of scissors and I make a slip. I make a cut into my fabric, making sure that I don't cut all the way into the um, seam allowance of the fabric. But I do make a small notch, and that really really helps a lot when I was sewing 
and using the commercial patterns that I was using. And so these are some things that you might see um, on your patterns. So, yes, that was the end of that PowerPoint, of this PowerPoint. Um, I hope that this helped you all. If you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, make sure that you join my Facebook group so that you are able to... um, you know, ask questions and continue on this discussion, add to the discussion, anything like that. Also, if you would like to download this, this will be available for download. It's free. It's a free study guide. It will be on my um, website, um, www.madamstriprofs.com. You can download it from there. And um, yeah, make sure you download it and study it. And if you have any other questions, make sure that you just reach out to me and ask. If I know the answer, I'll answer. Um, And if I don't, I'll try my best to find the answer for you. Thank you guys for taking time to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.